Light is your number one security tool. And for me, I carry a flashlight EDC every day. And it's an Olight, and I've said it a thousand times, I just love Olight flashlights. They're high performers, they're reasonably priced, and you know we've done a lot of torture tests with these, and they just hold up. Uh, I've been carrying the i5T Pro. Uh, this is a pin light. It has two different modes, it has a low mode, and then it has a 250 lumen mode. And it's just really thin, it fits in my pocket, it's really easy to carry. And one thing I find is the easier the flashlight is to carry, with some performance, the better. Uh, you know, if you want real high performance, you can get a really big light. But that's not practical to fit in your pocket. And the round shape, too, is not as comfortable. But I've gotten used to it. Now, one light that I really like is the Surefire Stiletto. It's really thin. It's a high performer. It has a reputation that's just incredible. Uh, used by law enforcement and military. And the stiletto is just one of those easy to carry uh, flashlights because it's so thin. And the polymer cased version, you know, puts out about 650 lumens. And then Surefire introduced the Stiletto Pro, which has an aluminum body. Gives it a little more weight, but it gives it a thousand lumens. And it's a really nice flashlight. Uh, one of the problems with both Surefires is they're fairly expensive. Uh, this is about $230 uh, that you can find market price. And so, you know, it is an expensive light. But there's something about that thinness. And to me, paying a little extra to have something really comfortable in your pocket that you're gonna carry every day is worth the investment. But Olight has just introduced their Arc Failed. This is a super thin little light, aluminum body, has a thousand lumens, uh, and it goes from one lumen all the way up that'll hold for eight days your battery life. It's rechargeable, has a magnetic pad on the back, and it's just a really streamlined light. Right here, just has a little uh, switch where you can go ahead and go through your different modes, and it has strobe. But one thing it also has, above all the other lights that I have, is it has a laser pointer. And so I just hit the little toggle switch, go to laser, and now I have a green laser. And it makes it great to be able to point out things, especially things that you're trying to explain to someone where it is, and you can just put this laser on it. But these are great aluminum body lights, super thin, and guys, this is my new EDC light. But the great thing is, the price comes in at $89.99, which is considerably cheaper than the Surefire Stiletto Pro. And you get a 10% discount using Suit00 with the affiliate link down below in the description. You know, we're so used to those cylinder type lights. Uh, you know, of course, batteries are that way. But with a lot of the rechargeable batteries, it makes it nice to have that flat design. 0.59 inches in height here so it fits really close in your pocket very much like a pocket knife and it keeps the mass down uh, and especially when you're carrying a lot of EDC items wherever you can shave a little bit of room it makes it nice uh, so it's a very thin small flashlight 0.98 inches in width and it's 4.33 inches in length. So it's a really small, handy flashlight. And as you can see, I mean, it fits naturally in your hand. It kind of sets in your hand. You don't have to worry about it rolling. Uh, it has a nice pocket clip, which is stainless steel. Uh, and this does come in a number of colors. In fact, I have the green right here, um, anodized finish, where this one has the blue accents around the bezel and the clip. This one has black accents. But it also has a tan color, or desert tan, and then it has a cobalt blue color. But when it comes to EDC, it's nice to have that really compact, efficient size. Now, we're still getting 1,000 lumens. We'll take a look at that in a minute, which is really bright. I mean, that gives you a lot of lumens. But it goes all the way down to one lumen. And so right here is your pressure pad. So, uh, And you can see that it is on the light setting. To go to laser, we just turn it. Really simple. Very positive. Uh, and then you hold and press. Now that gives you one lumen. And then you hold and press. This gives you 15 lumens. Hold and press, 60 lumens. Hold and press, 300 lumens. Uh, it'll go for two hours on 300 lumens. It'll go for eight days on the moonlight setting. Double click, and we have the turbo setting of 1,000 lumens. I mean, it's so bright, it's washing out all the detail. And then if we triple click, we can go to strobe. And so we have strobe, and that is at 1,000 lumens. Right here we have this toggle. Again, we can turn it to laser, and now we're in laser mode. And it's going to put out a green laser, very intense. 
uh, really easy to use as a pointer if you're in a business meeting you know if you're trying to point out something you can use the laser to identify and you know it's just a really nice feature with this light and I like that it's really easy to switch over I mean it's a very intuitive just easy to switch and now you have your light if you want to get to your laser just flip it and now you've got a laser um, so you know it's one of those things where it's not necessarily a deal breaker but I really like to have that option and it doesn't take away from anything with the light. It does kind of dip down, so this won't inadvertently come on, uh, and it allows for your finger pad just to hit that right button to turn it on. It does have a memory setting, so whatever you left it on the last, it will come back on, except for turbo. It won't memory set back to turbo uh, because that's really draining your battery. Now you'll notice right here at the bottom of the dial, as I turn the light, we have a battery indicator. This is 25% for the first, 50, 75, and 100% with four. And so this gives you a good idea of where you are with your battery life. And then this will shut off as it cuts off. We have a nice bezel. Uh, it is that rectangular shape. And then we have our LED. Uh, not a super deep reflector. In fact, uh, it'll throw at 101 meters, which is pretty decent for this type of light. And then we have a laser right here, our green laser. And it actually is marked right here on the side of the light. But really nice styling. I mean, very clean, uh, that nice anodized aluminum. Uh, so it's going to hold up really well. The pocket clip is stationary to where it is, but it's a fairly deep pocket carry. Then here on the back, we have our battery charger. Now, what I love about Olight is their charging system. And you have a magnetic pad. It just pops on. Plug this into a USB port and you're charging. Uh, it is the easiest system out on the market. I love it. Uh, one of the things about a lot of the flashlights is you'll pull out the battery and you plug in your cable into the battery. I'm not really a big fan of that. And there are some that have rubber boots. You pull it up, you plug it in. And that to me is better. But this is definitely my preferred choice. I love being able very simply to charge this. Because of the magnetic pressure pad in the back, this will go on any surface that's metal that is magnetic, and then you can just turn your light on. It gives you a hands-free option, and if you have a ledge overhanging, you can do it that way, vehicles, different things. So it does give you that different option. And that weighs 3.07 ounces, so it's really lightweight, and it's IPX7, which means it is waterproof or water resistant, and it is one meter impact resistant. Now, the arc field also offers two different light tints. We have the cool white, and we have the neutral white. Uh, you can get cool white in the green, you can get neutral white in the black, but this just happens to be the cool white. This is the, or the neutral white. We have the neutral white on the left, we have the cool white on the right. One of the advantages of neutral white is that it'll show color a little better. It'll let you see color, uh, especially in the dark when you're shining this light. With the cool white, it gives you more detail. Uh, I can see it better. Personally, I prefer the cool white. Uh, and there's a little bit of a yellow tint to it. You can't see it as well on the camera, but it definitely is there. Now we're gonna go ahead and press up. This is moonlight, so we're gonna press up to the next setting. And then you can see it's just a touch of yellow, a little more blue color. Now we're gonna go to the turbo setting, so you just double click. And now you can see, uh, you know, this is a thousand lumens. And um, you are getting a little bit of yellow on the left and a little bit more blue on the right. And again, that has everything to do with detail versus color identification. Here is the Surefire Stiletto. Uh, you can see they're fairly the same length, but the Stiletto is definitely wide. Now I'm a big fan of the Stiletto. I like the design. It does ride really nice in your pocket. The original is a polymer. And then we have a, an aluminum housing around the LED. You can see we've got our LED here. And it's a little deeper than the Arcfield. But it gives it a little bit longer throw. Uh, with the Arcfield, with the shallower reflector, you're not quite getting the same distance. I believe you can get 147 meters of throw with the uh, Stiletto. But we do have the laser on the arc field, which is a bonus. It's not something that's a deal breaker to me, but it's nice to have. Uh, your controls on the stiletto right here, and of course we just turn it on and it comes on. I mean, it's really easy, intuitive, and you have your uh, way to set this up and program your light to different modes. And so you can set this up, 
And I have a full review on this if you want to see that. One thing I do like about the stiletto, though, is it does have the tail switch at the back. So I can hit that and it goes straight to turbo. But the turbo is 600 lumens, while the arc field has 1,000 lumens. So then we bring out the Pro. And the Pro has an aluminum body. Uh, it's a nice flashlight, feels really good in your hand. It goes up to 1,000 lumens, and that matches the arc field. Same thing, we have our same mode settings on the side. Uh, we do have a battery indicator right here. Uh, but when you're charging either one of these lights, you have a small little boot. And it comes with its own charging cable. And so just lift it up, plug this in. Now, that's not a big deal. Uh, the big deal is when you don't quite get this boot back down over the port. Uh, the first stiletto that I had, uh, the boot wasn't actually pressed down close enough. I thought it was, but it wasn't. And when I put it in water, it shorted out. I ended up sending it back to Surefire. And they were really gracious and sent me another one really fast. So no problems there. You just want to be careful with that rubber boot to make sure that it is in place. On the Pro, it's a little bit different. Um, and so here you've got it just on the side. But again, you're going to want to make sure you have that pressed in really well because it will short out. So while these flashlights are excellent and Surefire does a great job, I'm a big fan. The arc field does have some advantages, and really mainly with the price. Uh, we talked a little bit about it, but $89.99, and then we have $120 on the standard stiletto and $230 on the Pro. And the Pro, honestly, has a lot of the same features that the arc field does. Arc field has a laser. This has a rear tail switch. Uh, and this will give you a little more throw. So, you know, you have some different options here. Uh, one thing I like the stiletto for is really more for a tactical type light. And so, but it's a little larger in your pocket. And honestly, it weighs more. It's about preference. It's about what you want to do with the light. Um, I will highly recommend the stiletto, but I think that the arc field may top it and is going to be the better choice for my EDC. Now my i5T Pro, I mean, it's a nice light. It fits down here. It's round, but it's really thin. And so it's very comfortable. And, you know, it's one of those things you don't know what you don't know. Then we have the Surefire Stiletto, same thing. But guys, it's so flat and it fits really nice in your pocket. I mean, it's a great light, but it's 650 lumens. Then we have the Arc Failed. Man, that just slips in your pocket. It's flat. There's no rounded shapes coming out against your skin or here. I mean, it's just that, it's that .59 inches that just make it really solid. It goes easy in your pocket. Pull it out, now you're ready for some light. I mean, just a very comfortable to carry. Guys, when you're carrying as much stuff as I do in my pockets with the key bar and my knife, and here on the other side, I keep my arc failed, and any more comfort that I can get carrying all this gear, the better. Plus my iPhone, my wallet, my concealed carry, <laughs> gets out of hand. All right, here we have the arc failed, one lumen, moonlight setting. It's not really showing much out here. We're gonna go up to the 15 lumen setting. We're getting a little bit of light. Go up to the medium setting of 60 lumens. Then we're going to the high. Now this is 300 lumens. It's got a nice diffuse beam. Uh, that's about 15 yards out. It's not that far. This is in the cool white. Now we're gonna double click. And we're at the 1,000 lumens. <laughs> really nice, bright light. Uh, has a real nice spill. It's not really a hot spot. This is great for getting just an all-around light in a large area. Okay, now we have a thousand lumens with the neutral white. I'm going to kind of bring in the cool white on this side and on the right is the neutral white. You're getting just a little better color, but there is that little bit of natural tint to it. With the cool white, honestly, it gives it just a little more detail. Uh, but it's really a brighter light in a sense, but yet the warm or the neutral white comes in. I mean, they're both great lights. It's just according to if you really want to identify color or you want to come in and identify detail. So you got both of these options. Now we have the Surefire Stiletto Pro. Uh, low lumens, not all that bright here. Go to the next setting. I mean, this is getting some good light out there. Go to the bright setting of a thousand lumens. 
Now it does give a nice kind of hot spot. Uh, it's not real defined, but it's definitely a little bit more of a hot spot and it has a nice wide spill to it. Bringing in the Arkfeld, here we have the cool white and here we have the stiletto, a thousand lumens. It's a different performing light with the naked eye. It's not a lot of difference as far as light intensity, but I will say that the stiletto gives you a little more of that hot spot, which can give you a little more detail. So I really like the light on the Surefire Stiletto Pro, but um, the Arkfeld is doing great and it's less than half the price. But also we do have the laser. So you can see it out there. It is a really intense laser. And after our little uh, torture test, I mean, you know, it scratches up the surface a little bit. I mean, it's aluminum against concrete. You're just going to have that. But uh, you're protecting the bezel, so that's not a problem. Your switch is fine, mainly on the corners. And um, a lot of times we'll do much more extensive tests on some lights. But I'm going to carry this for my EDC. <laughs> I don't mind the scratches, but I, I didn't want it to just be completely torn up. We have really uh, just taken these lights and, I mean... Uh, they looked almost <laughs> undescribable, and yet they still function. Uh, of course, you know, beating it against a post in different directions, head on, on the sides, up and down. I mean, it, it just lasts. And, of course, you know, putting it in the pool, uh, IPX7 is going to be waterproof. Um, and so, you know, I mean, it's just a good solid light, and it's going to last. And that's one of the big things. But the big test, of course, is to go through the lumens. And, you know, it's still there, working great. So, um, this is going to be going in my pocket as soon as this review's over. Oh, yeah, let's check the laser. Laser works. Good stuff. So, guys, if you're looking for that EDC light that's just super comfortable to carry in your pocket, and yet it performs extremely well with a 1,000 lumens and has a green laser, the art field's going to be hard to beat. And, again, you get a 10% discount using Suit Zero Zero with the link down below in the description. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Guys, light is your number one security tool. Whoops. <laughs> uh, the arc field, I think uh, it's got a great tail switch. Okay. It has a, not only does it put out a thousand lumens, it also has a laser. Uh, especially if you're like, look at that. And they're like, is it there? Is it there? No. Uh, but overall, it lasts really good. I mean, okay. It lasts really good. This lasts really good, y'all. I think that the arc field, pro I think that the arc field, okay.